Hi. Today I'm going to unbox and review the Blue Yeti microphone. Or should I call it the Blue Blue Yeti microphone? This is not a sponsored video. Though technically I'm the one who bought it, but it's still not mine. I bought this on Amazon for 129 US dollars or 6,966 Philippine peso because Amazon has a really high conversion rate. Shipping is excluded. Now let's talk what you get in the box. So this is the mini USB cable to USB cable which connects the mic to your computer and the manual that you and I will not get to read for the rest of our lives unless we run into problem. But seriously, this is helpful if you want to know more about the microphone. And of course, the microphone that is already attached to its stand. About its build quality, it has all metal body, all metal grill, it feels pretty decent, I have no complaints about it, the microphone stand is quite heavy, it won't tip off easily. Looking at the bottom of the mic, it has a 5.8 inch microphone stand mount. It means you can mount it on a boom arm instead of placing this on your desk. This is the mini USB cable and the 3.5 headphone plug for zero latency monitoring. Looking at the front part, you'll get a mute button which turns red if the power is on and if it is muted, it blinks. So at the bottom knob is for adjusting the level of your monitoring in your headphones. Moving on the side of the microphone you'll get a plastic knob which feels like a bottle cup so what it does is it tightens or loosens the microphone swing So at the back of the microphone, you'll get two knobs. One is for your microphone gain. As you turn the, this from left to right, it will decrease or increase your volume. And the bottom knob is for your polar pattern selections. So now I'm going to turn on my AC because it's getting a little bit hot in here and I'll shut up in a bit so you could hear what it sounds like and I will do a typing test so you could hear how this microphone performs. So this is the no-brainer visualization from the box of the Blue Yeti. These are the four polar patterns that is available on this mic. And this is how it works and where it's good for. So I'm not going to explain that anymore. 
By the way, everything you heard on this video is from the Blue Yeti. I did no post-processing on it. I have no filters on OBS. So whose mic is this for? I think it's good for people who have a controlled environment since this is a condenser mic. It sounds pretty good for a USB mic. It has or it's a no-brainer microphone to use. Just plug and set your recording device and it just works. So people who wanted to start a YouTube channel, perhaps an artist or a singer because the mic has a natural tone on it. The pricing for me is a little bit stingy for my taste, but you'll get what you pay for. The downside of this microphone is that it picks up pretty much everything. Even if you say it's on cardioid, I get that it lessens the noise, but I don't want to stream with this when my AC is on. It's just too noisy. It can't be filtered out in OBS. Plus, even though I'm typing on a MX Red mechanical keyboard, it still hears just about everything. Plus, you can't connect this in an audio interface or a mixer just because it doesn't have the XLR connection. It would be a perfect microphone if it had one, though you can use a Banana Voice Meter or Adobe Edition to clean up your voice. Plus, you can use filters in OBS to make it work. So remember when you're choosing a microphone, always consider what kind of environment you have, how much are you willing to pay for, and its upgradability. Thanks for watching. I'm Sham from Nuts About Gaming, and these are just my two cents for those guys leaning towards this microphone. I'll see you on, a, I'll see you on my next video.